Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. Today I fitted a stunning little dancer named Natalie. She was very successful in YGP and she's been competing every year until last year when YGP finals was canceled. She was telling me a little bit about her experience throughout the year last year with everything canceled and how she's coming back this year as well. Obviously being on Zoom was really hard because I would say I definitely lost some stamina. And then once we got back in the studio having to dance in masks, it's really hard. It's a bit hard to stay motivated, but honestly, it's just, it's really, oh my gosh, I don't really know. I know, it's, that's okay, you're doing so great right now, oh my Sorry. god, no, you're doing so well. I think it's really difficult when you have to figure out what motivates you. Some people are motivated by community and being around other dancers and having your teacher there, and some people are really just motivated just to dance. Yeah. So were you really excited about this year when you saw that you could compete again? I was so excited to finally compete again. and. Being on stage, it really just makes my heart so happy and I just feel like the best version of myself. My goal is definitely to go to a ballet school and become a ballerina, that's mm -hmm. my goal. And I would love to either be with American Ballet Theater when I grew up or the Australian Ballet. Mm -hmm. And I would really love to go to ABT Studio Company when I'm old enough because I think it's super cool. Plus you get to go on tour and like learn all its amazing repertoire. I loved fitting Natalie because she likes her point shoes the way that I like to fit my dancers. A lot of 14 year olds, they like to have their shoes a little bit looser just because they want a little bit more room for their feet. But Natalie likes everything tight. She says not just her point shoes, but everything. She likes her tutus really tight. She likes everything to be very secure so she feels more supported. And that's very normal for a professional dancer, but I don't typically see that with a younger dancer. So that was really cool. I was taking a look at your feet and you have a lot of knuckles that are exposed when you point. Your feet are really bony. Yeah. And then when you point your feet, your bunion and your Taylor's bunion stick out a little bit. I noticed that it was quite tight, but a lot of dancers like it that way because it is easier to control your shoes. How long have you been in these shoes? Um, I would say I've been in them for about like three or four months maybe, because okay. I used to wear the 2007s. I've been bouncing between 2007s and Freed's, but I recently just stuck with the Novas. The problem with me for the Freed's was they died really fast. Yes, I think and... that's a problem with Freed's for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> And also the Freed's, like I'm saying in this part too, in my balls and my feet were cramping up a lot. Mm. So, and I don't know what that has to do with, but they're kind of starting to cramp up in these too. I don't mm. know why. So th you were experiencing that in the Freed's and now this is turning into that as well? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at your shoes. And then bring your left foot up on point. Beautiful. Yeah, you do like it really tight. Yeah. There's like no space here. Step up onto both feet. Okay, great. And then cross it into fifth position. You really worked on your feet, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> the point shoes that she's in right now is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it. I probably wouldn't change anything if we weren't gonna go into competition, but I wanted something that was quieter and I wanted something that was more streamlined and something that will, will cover her knuckles. She was in a very tapered, very narrow point shoe and I wanted to give her something that has a little bit more room across her knuckles. When Natalie points her feet, you can see all of her knuckles sticking out. When you have a foot that exposes all of your knuckles, you can get a lot of calluses on the top of your knuckles. So I wanted to bring the shoe up just a little bit and then also give her a little bit more space so that nothing is really sticking out and then you get this really pretty streamlined look. So on stage, it'll be a lot better. Put this on, let's try it. Is that too short? Um, it's the toe pads. I do you want to try it without the toe pad? Sure. Do you like your toe pads that thick? I don't. I used to wear the gel, but then they were ripping so much, uh -huh. so I was trying these. Yeah. But so your feet are really, it's like pretty red. When I see a lot of knuckles, usually there's like a little callus. Yeah. Right on the top. So we want to make sure that we take care of that. You can keep the spacers on though. I think that's keeping your toes nice and straight. First position, semi plie. Is it pressing anywhere? Um, no. Feels okay? Yeah. You're so easy because you <laughs> like your shoes really tight and like yeah. straighten. Bring your left foot up on point, press up on both feet. That's gorgeous. This is a little bit bendier. Press it into fifth position. And it keeps your knuckles kind of inside your shoe. 
Even though it's pretty tight still, do you feel like there's too much room in there? Um, no. They it feel okay? Is. Yeah. It's a totally different feeling shoe, but it's a little bit more um, platform, so it's slightly easier to balance, and it gives your knuckles a little bit more room here. But that's very, very pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Does that feel like it's pressing or hurting anymore? No. <laughs> that looks gorgeous. Natalie looks great and everything. But one, when she was in her really tapered, really narrow point shoe previously, she was in a pretty thick toe pad. So when you have a thick toe pad, there's going to be a lot of spaces between your foot and the shoe itself. I gave her a toe pad that was really thin on the bottom and had only the cushion on the top, but I made sure that the toe pad covers all of her knuckles. So she gets a little bit more protection there. And I gave her a shoe that has a little bit more room in the box. So she's a little bit more lift. When it comes to dancers like Natalie that likes shoes very tight, most point shoes look pretty good on them because there's nothing baggy and there's nothing slacking. It looked even better when I gave her a thinner toe pad because she was so close to the shoe. She tends to break softer shoes a lot faster. So I wanted something that was a little bit softer on her feet, but I also wanted something that won't break right away. So it was very pretty. I thought the line looked a lot better on her feet and I thought it would be a little bit more healthy for her feet overall in the long run. A lot of dancers right now are competing and not really knowing exactly what's going to happen in the future because of our predicament with the world and the pandemic. Hopefully we can all get back to our normal rhythm of our lives and hopefully the theaters and all of that will open because we all miss it so much. If you're competing or if you have any shows coming up, if you have anything that you're looking forward to in the LA world, then leave that in the comments. We'd love to hear about it.